to this lesson on using my four phrase exercise on the jazz standard autumn leaves. The four phrase exercise is an exercise I developed to improve control over melodic direction and intensity while improvising. The exercise goes like this. Play one original starting phrase and then come up with four possible phrases that can go after that one in a solo. The phrases should follow these rules. The first phrase should be up in note height but down in intensity. The second phrase should be up in note height and up in intensity. The third one will be down in note height and down in intensity. And finally the fourth one will be down in note height but up in intensity. The goal of this exercise is getting used to moving in different directions while we improvise. I also like uh, keeping something from the original phrase in the next four phrases just to keep some continuity. Of course these are only some of the possibilities and to get the most of the exercise you should come up with your own phrases. The starting phrase I'm going to use today is this simple phrase. It's starting on the 7th of the A minor 7 chord. And then I repeat the note before going down a step in the scale, back up again, down again, and then I'm skipping down a third. For the first of the four phrases, that's up in note height and down in intensity, I'm going to use this pattern from the starting phrase, but move it up here to the 6th and 7th of the D7 chord. But then I'm going up again, and then down. All these are either chord tones or scale tones, and that help keep the intensity down. For the second of the four phrases, that's up in note height and up in intensity, I'm going to use the D altered scale. But I'm playing it like this, starting on the third of the chord. Here I'm playing the sharp five and the flat nine. And then I'm continuing up to this. And here I'm using the uh, sharp nine. And then I'm playing almost the same thing here. And that is the same as the starting phrase. And that helps keep the continuity of the lines. And then a simple phrase in the end there. Using altered notes and a mix of triplets and eight notes help increase the intensity of this second phrase. For the third phrase, that's down in note height and down in intensity, I'm going to use mostly scale and chord tones again, and I'm going to play fewer notes. I'm going to use the pattern from the first one, but I'm moving it down here, and I'm, then I'm playing, so playing fewer notes and scale and chord tones help keeps the intensity down. For the fourth and final phrase, that's down in note height and up in intensity, I'm going to use the D altered scale again. And I'm starting with a triplet rhythm here, and then the D altered, and then I'm doing this. And that last phrase is sort of similar to the starting phrase. <laughs> 